Okay, so here's another site. Uh, then we're going to look at Deer Creek Farm. Now they have done something very interesting on when they linked their website to Google, because I did a search for Google Farms. I just did a general search, and it, it's picking places that are close to me. So when they put their link in, what they did was they had it go directly to their Contact Us page, which I don't think is a very good idea at all. Um, now, if I think what they're thinking is that if they're on the Google, there's a number of reasons why you wouldn't want to do that. They're, they're thinking on the Google Maps page is that you'd want to get in touch with them, so they put their, their contact link there. However, um, it is much better for SEO search engines if you list your home page when you list your site for other things. Um, it doesn't look weird. It doesn't look like you're trying to emphasize a certain page. Um, so there's that. And then secondly, this is the first presentation that the person might have of your site. And the contact page is not what you would want to see as the first impression of this farm. So they've done some really nice things on this site that I like. Uh, this is, again, another template builder. And uh, I like the template that they picked. I like this little stitched pattern. Their logo is great. Um, their photographs are great. I really like the way they did this kind of thing. Um, this here, so when you look at a page and then everything that you see right now, the way it came up, that is called above the fold. And then when you scroll down, that's below the fold. Okay. And so this contact information, this location stuff should be above the fold. Um, but when I got to looking at this, I was like, well, it's the contact page. And so if we actually go to the home page, we don't find any of that. And I'm back to I'm back to saying, you know, we need to put the contact, the, the call to action and contact information on the home page. So this is how this comes up. So they've got a slider photo thing here. I like this rustic feel to it. That's cool. Um, so we see welcome to Deer Creek Farm. There's no, I don't know where they are at this point. I do not know where this farm is located. I know it said Virginia. Um, well, I just typed in farms. I didn't really look, right? So uh, there, there's no location here. Um, there's no phone number. There's no, there is a contact us button. But again, that these days, that is generally not enough to make somebody contact you. You have to do some more things to really entice them to do that. Now, I do see down here, it says North Carolina Simmental Fall Sale. So if I was not really paying attention and I was flipping through sites looking for something, I might think this farm is in North Carolina, and it is not. Um, that is actually just a sale that they're going to. But see, it shows above the fold. So if you're going to put that kind of stuff in there, then that needs to come a little bit further below or uh, some kind of a special little ribbon flyer across here. Catch us at the next North Carolina Simmental Fall Sale to make it look like more of an event rather than just North Carolina Simmental Fall Sale. Like, it sounds like this is at their farm. So, um, okay, so there's that. Now they have a download here, the download uh, view. It says view, I wonder if that's a page or a download. Hmm. Okay, it took me to another page. Three seconds, three to five seconds is your load time expectation for most people before they bounce off of your site. So it's nice to have heavy logos and colors and pictures and stuff, but sometimes it really slows down your site. So you got to kind of balance that stuff out. Um, okay, so this is what's in the sale. And there are a lot of pictures on this page. 
So perhaps that is accounting for um, some of the time factor. Okay, but let's get back to the home page. And again, there's really good contact here. I uh, not contact, but content. Um, I like I like any kind of um, acknowledgments or associations you belong to or certifications that you have are good. Uh, more buttons down here to get in touch. These are good call to action buttons, but I would put these at the top. Our history. Um, view our sale page. I would not do our history. I would do the get in touch and the sale page up top. Our history is actually, well, they don't have an about page. So they did a good job dividing up their, their uh, lines of business and talking about their conservation and stewardship. They've got a for sale performance advocate and then contact us. There should be a, uh, something about the history up here in the or about the farm or something. Um, perhaps it could go under change the name of this and put it a different um, title and have this be about the farm because the conservation and stewardship is about the farm. Let's just go there and see what that looks like. So they won a clean water award. They do things to, uh, looks like it might have been an NRCS or some kind of a program that put the water stations in. Um, conservation stuff. So that that's cool. This could be incorporated into an about page. And I think they wanted to highlight that. I, I, I'm kind of on the fence about that. I don't think that's a major selling point. And you could actually do a number of blogs and articles about this stuff that you could use for SEO purposes about your farm, which would be nice to have a blog page on this site. So, because it looks like they have some ongoing tree planting projects and some things like that. So that'd be cool. So anyway, this is a site that I think looks a little bit better. It's, it's still missing some major call to action kind of things. Every page should have a call to action. What do you want them to do? What, what, when your person, the person comes to this page, what kind of action do you want them to take? You want them to contact you? Do you want them to look at more information? Do you want them to buy something? Um, do you want them to sign up for something? So think about that. Have a call to action in some direction for people to go. I'm going to show you one more site, and then uh, that'll be the conclusion of the videos.